for checking in and taking responsibility for your education. If you're a student who's planning on transferring to the University of California, the UC, or the California State University, the CSU, you will want to plan your general education courses from a list referred to as IGETSI. And here's why. In order to graduate from most colleges or universities, students are expected to complete specific general education requirements. The intent of general education is to make sure that you have a broad knowledge base. By successfully completing general education, you should know about human culture, how to inquire, think, solve, and communicate effectively. As a college graduate, you're expected to engage in the broader world and integrate learning to adapt to new ideas. So please don't think of the general education requirements as a checklist, but rather as a journey of discovery. So what does IGETSI mean? IGETSI is an acronym for the Intersegmental General Education Transfer Curriculum. Intersegmental means that both the UCs and the CSUs will accept the listed coursework to satisfy their lower division general education requirements, which means you can take all of them at the community college. So we strongly recommend that each semester you choose a couple of courses listed on the IGETSI. This way you'll have your GEs completed before transferring. However, if you plan to major in math, science, engineering, computer science, or any major that requires extensive major preparation, then following the IGETSI pattern isn't recommended. You should focus on completing your English requirements and your major preparation courses. Let's take a look at the IGETSI form. At SPCC, most students know it simply as the pink sheet. At first glance, it may seem complicated, but once we break it down, you'll find it's an easy document to follow. IGETSI is composed of six major areas or categories from which you are required to choose courses. Area 1 is the English Communication Area. There are three groups in this area, and in each one you will need to complete one course from those listed. Group A lists our required first semester English Composition course. Group B is our second semester English Composition and Critical Thinking course. And Group C is the Oral Communication group, which are primarily courses with topics such as public speaking, interpersonal, and group communication. Area 2 is the Mathematical Concepts and Quantitative Reasoning area. For IGETSI, you'll need at least one math course from this area, but depending on your major, you may end up taking more. Area 3 has two groups of courses, the Arts and the Humanities. You need to choose one course from each group, and depending on your interest, you get to choose another course from either of the Arts or the Humanities for a total of three courses. Area 4 is the Social and Behavioral Science category, and you must select three courses from the list. When choosing, you must have the three courses from at least two different disciplines or subjects, such as history and psychology. Area 5 are the sciences. They are divided into two groups, physical and biological. Here, you must choose one course from each group, and at least one of those science courses must have a lab associated with it. On our form, the labs are underlined. Area 6 centers around language other than English. In this area, you will need one college semester of a foreign language. Great news! For those of you who have completed two years of the same foreign language in high school and earned a C-minus grade or better, you have satisfied this area and are not required to complete it. Also, this is a UC requirement only, so if you're thinking about transferring only to a CSU, no need to take it. Here's an important consideration when choosing courses for a Getsy. If you're thinking of transferring to a CSU, they require an additional American history and an American government course. This can be met before or after transfer to a CSU. Most, but not all, CSUs will also use these courses in the IGETSI areas 3 and 4. See the IGETSI form for more information on this requirement. So as you can see, IGETSI isn't as complicated as it may seem. These areas can be taken in any order, and you must earn a grade of C or better in the courses. Also, remember that in order to be eligible to transfer to a UC or a CSU, you will need to complete a total of 60 transferable units. Completing all the IGETSI course requirements will total somewhere between 35 to 40 units, so that leaves you lots of room to take other courses in your major and electives.
Please keep in mind that although iGetsy isn't a transfer admission requirement, it is strongly recommended. Between following iGetsy, completing your major preparation courses, and taking some electives, it's fairly easy to be able to be prepared to transfer. To find your major preparation courses, please visit a website called assist.org. This completes our overview of iGetsy. I hope you found it useful. Please study it and learn it as it is a valuable tool and resource for you as you're planning your next semester courses. Again, thanks for checking in and taking charge of your educational goals.